Hi guys, so today we are going to do the question word pattern. In this question, we are given a pattern and a string str. Find if str follows the same pattern. Here, follows mean a full match such that there is a bijection between a letter in a pattern and a non-empty word in str. So we'll understand the question by the examples that are given to us. So here the pattern is A B B A, and the string given to us is dog, cat, cat, dog. So in this we are ret uh, returning a true. Um, uh, uh, we'll go through an example to understand it better. So I've taken it uh, here, uh, taken the sample example here. So in this case, uh, we are seeing that A is mapped to dog, B is mapped to a cat, and again the B is mapped to a cat, whereas this A is again mapped to a dog. Fine, we can see the, these things. Uh, and also, since a bijection is required, see, uh, we are told uh, so that there is a bijection between a letter in the pattern and a non-empty word in the string. So, if we look at the opposite direction of the uh, from the string to the pattern, if we look out, so dog means a A and a cat is represented by a E. B and again if we check that uh, um, cat is again mapped to a B and the dog is again mapped to a A so there is no uh, point where uh, there is a contradiction so we return a true here uh, if we look at the next case of A B B A and dog cat cat fish so in this case we have a dog for A letter A is mapped to a dog Uh, letter B is mapped to a cat then we again look that the second letter B is also mapped to a letter cat so to the string cat and then we check for A it is mapped to a fish but earlier A was mapped to a dog so here at this point we return a false so um, I hope you are understanding what we are doing. So basically, we are inserting the uh, inserting the character and the corresponding string into the map. And for the second time, if the if the character occurs, we check if the corresponding string is equal to what we have already entered into it. If the uh, presently entered string is not equal to the one that we had already added, then we return a false in that case okay and we look at the further examples as well this is a very interesting question a lengthy one so let me so uh, in this example we are given a uh, uh, pattern a so initially a is mapped to a dog then we are ge again given a a uh, we check if it is present in the map uh, we and now the second day is being mapped to the cat but earlier previously it was mapped to a dog so at this point we see a contradiction that dog is not equal to cat so we return a false in this case so now we move on to the fourth example here fourth sample input that we are given in this case what we see is that A is initially mapped to dog then B is also mapped to a dog this is fine then uh, we check uh, we see we again encounter a B and we see that it is again mapped to a dog so we check if uh, the map already has a B in it and then we check the corresponding value so it has a dog and also we encounter a dog so this is consistent with the values that we've already inserted into, into the map then we encounter A and we check if this uh, string that we are currently looking at is equal to the one that is in the map so everything is consistent as of now but then we need a bijection according to the question so what we do is now we start traversing the string and then check if is it consistent with the pattern or not so uh, we are now iterating over the string array string 
str string then we check uh, that dog is mapped to the first character a okay so we add it to a second map we uh, we add uh, the dog as the key and b um, as the a as the value so now we encounter the second uh, string now we check uh, that is it already present in the map yes the value dog is already present in the map and we check the corresponding character in the pattern so it is b now we check if the map has dog map to a character b or not so it is already mapped to character a so since a is not equal to b so at this point we return a false because there is inconsistency i hope you guys are understanding it because like first we make a we made we made a map from it uh, from pattern to uh, sorry first we made a map from the pattern to the string and then in the same uh, and in the same question we are making a map from the string to the pattern to check if there is a bijection or not let's start coding you will understand it better so what i do is um instead of using split and other, any other function i'm uh, directly uh, i'll be using space concept to add uh, the various strings that are present in the str string okay so let's start making uh, i'm making a vector of string that will hold the different entries different strings that are that are space separated so for character c in str i'll make a temporary string t e, and then if c equal to equal to space that is i encounter a space here so uh, we uh, we now see that we have already got a word got a string so at this point i'll add it into the temporary vector so t is pushed back and now i am make the string empty else i'll append the current character into the string t okay so uh, by these uh, by this uh, for loop i am uh, making a vector which has dog cat cat and dog in itself and then the uh, since the last dog also has to be inserted so uh, i'll push back the t value in it um for you to understand i'll uh, print the values here once what is happening in the for loop we have executed till now i'll return a dummy value right now so that you can understand it see we've got uh, in the values in the temporary variable fine now what we do is we'll comment these off and we'll uh, let me raise it uh, then i'll make a map of char comma string mp uh, here for the corner case i'll check if the pattern dot size pattern pattern dot size is greater than uh, temp dot size at this case i'll return a false here then for character c in uh, the pattern that i am given i am basically adding the values to the map now and check if the entries are consistent or not i'll take a variable position so that i can iterate uh, through the temp array as well simultaneously so i'll check if mp of c uh, if mp dot find c is not equal to mp dot end that is uh, i am uh, i'll check is equal to equal to end this means that uh, the map does not has the entry so i'll add the entry to the map right now uh, it will be equal to the present string in the temporary vector
fine else if uh, there is an entry i'll check if mp of c is not equal to temp of i have I, it is position variable so if it is not equal then i'll return a false at this position uh, else i'll continue to iterate over the temporary vector as well so so at this uh, point we are uh, doing this and we uh, if we uh, if we are successfully able to iterate over this then uh, we have to now start mapping from the str uh, string to the pattern string now so we'll make a map here from string comma cat to mp and now i'll initialize the position again as zero then for string s in temporary um that is the vector what we i'll do is i'll again find m uh, i'll take it uh, as some other name mmp so mmp dot find s equal to equal to mmp dot end so if uh, there is no mapping done here so what i'll do is mmp of s is equal to what i'll do is uh, there was the pattern string string of position fine so basically what i am doing here is that um, i am iterating to the right hand side the temporary vector has all these character uh, all these strings put into it so uh, basically i am finding is there a mapping from dog uh for a dog key so if there is no mapping then i'll use the zeroth position and so i'll have a dog has a value a fine in this in this statement i'll do this else if mmp of a, uh, s if mmp of s not equal to temp of not equal to s mmp of s is not equal to pattern of position so basically uh, what i am doing is we are uh, finding the um, value associated to the key and i'll check if it is not equal to the current character then i'll return a false at that position sorry for the mistakes and then else i'll continue to uh, um, increment the position value as well and if all these things execute successfully then i'll be returning a true at the end so this is the entire code for the question i am some uh, trying to compile it so this gives a correct answer i'll run all the test cases this is also giving a uh, let's test for a corner case when the um, pattern size is less than the string size so i guess we'll get a, a run time error because we are trying to map invalid okay we get a correct answer as well here so let me increase the size of the pattern array pattern string we have put in a condition here if pattern size is greater than so all this is fine for us so let me submit it so here we get a wrong answer when we have pattern size equal to 0 so we add a corner condition if pattern size equal to equal to 0 then we return a false in that case so all these corner cases need to be uh, rectified so if pattern size equal to equal to 0 we return a false in that case so now we 
get a correct answer in that uh, in this and uh, i hope you guys have understood it and you just need to uh, dry run it on a pen and paper to understand it better and uh, bye bye